it's Jay the Nerd here. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below to get all the nerdy content you'll ever need every Wednesday and Saturday. Today we're going to be talking about the new ReZero episode, which was Garfield's backstory. Now, we don't know a whole lot about his character besides the fact that he's half human, can transform into a tiger, and that he's angry all the time, which is very fitting for his voice actor because he's the same voice actor as Bakugo, who is also an angry character, so he definitely gets typecast. But anyways, we don't know much about his character, so it was nice to have a backstory. It's I really appreciate the season and how they've been focusing more on the other characters. I love me some Subaru, but it's been nice to see the backstory of some other side characters too. Because last week we got Otto's backstory, which, oh, and then this week we get Garfield's. And basically we learn that <clears throat> the reason why he doesn't want to leave the, san the sanctuary and he doesn't want anyone else to leave the sanctuary is because his mom died when she, immediately when she left. And he's convinced that the reason why she left was to find her own happiness and that she never loved him or his sister and she left because it would have made her happier to be without them. And that's what he's convinced himself his whole life and he doesn't want anyone to leave. And I really like that they gave us some depth to his character because to me he was just this annoying whiny bitch of a character who didn't want who's suspicious of everyone especially Subaru and never wanted anyone to leave and he was just a whiny baby and I appreciate the fact that they gave us an actual reason for why he doesn't want people to leave I always if a if a show game whatever doesn't give a good reason for characters to act the way they are I call that bad writing and this is this is great writing because they actually gave us a good reason for uh Garfield's motivations because every human being including fictional characters have a motivation for everything they do whether it be a shallow one or not and his was definitely not shallow he didn't want people to leave because he was convinced that the outside world was dangerous and it kind of is fitting for you know the place being called a sanctuary as you will but uh Subaru confronts him and they have this amazing fight where Subaru uses his sloth factor to kick his fucking ass and it was just a really great fight and I feel like it really helped Garfield uh, respect Subaru more because Subaru as I've said before has this magical charming power to win everyone over and I feel like the only way to win someone over like Garfield is to do it with fighting and Subaru won and therefore gained Garfield's respect and trust and we you know we found out his story and we found out the um Ram who I think it's really cute that Garfield is into Ram and their conversations are really hilarious and while I'm always a number one Rem fan, fan, I'm really happy with how they've been dealing with Ram this season because they really are like, hey, you thought that this character um, was the mean, uh, lifeless version of Rem? Well, we're going to show you otherwise, and because Rem is asleep, we're going to show you what Ram can do. And I'm actually really loving her as a character so much, and I'm really glad they're focusing on her. And obviously with a perfect opportunity with Rem being unconscious, it's a perfect opportunity to showcase her sister. And I just love her and Garfield's re uh, interactions and that she encouraged Garfield to confront his past. So he starts the trial and confronts his past and realizes that, or accepts the fact that his mom didn't leave because she didn't love them and wanted to find happiness. She left to go get their father and bring him back and that he realized that he was compartmentalizing the fact that she left because she didn't love them because it would be easier for him to deal with her death if he thought if he could be mad at her and hate her and think that she didn't love him it was easier for him to cope which I feel like is a very human thing to do in traumatic situations people me people's memories literally get altered so that we can cope and I just love the way this show uh, shows and not tells people's uh, personalities and motivations and stuff. Because they could have easily just been like, ha had him have like, his sister be like, no, you're compartmentalizing this, this is the blah blah blah. But instead they did it through the uh, environment of the trial, just like they showed who Subaru really is through his confronting of his past of the trial. And I love the way that they show character backstories in the show and the way they've been doing it this season. But anyways, 
He finally confronts his past and we find out that Garfield is only like 14. And I don't think it should be possible or allowed for a 14 year old to be that ripped. Like, this is giving, you know, people unex, like, giving people unrealistic, bleh, I cannot talk because I'm so flustered, unrealistic expectations of men that they're going to be that ripped that young. And that is not true. <laughs> So, uh, I thought that was, re that reveal was really funny that Subaru's like, I'm older than you? But anyways, and then we finally got to see Amelia go into her trial and confront her past. And we got to see Akidna again, best fucking girl of the show. And I am so excited. And I hope we get to see her more. But that's it. And I will see you on Wednesday for my next Attack on Titan final season episode review. Bye.